Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today with this tutorial we will see how to create a very simple filtering system for your blog posts. For the tutorial, I am using a copy of my affiliate website which is installed on my local computer. Let me show you the final page that we are going to build with this tutorial. I am talking about the page, shoes. As you are able to see, the page uses filters based on the shoe categories, like men's, women's, kids, boys, and girls. On the website, I'm using the Elementor Pro Page Builder and the free version of the Astra theme. However, you may use any theme you like, as this technique is independent of the theme you use. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. Let's start. The first thing is the list of posts with categories. So, I have many post categories right here, and my posts are some sneakers examples. Make sure you have installed the Elementor Pro plugin. In case you don't know, Elementor Pro is a very powerful page builder plugin. Its professional version isn't free, but it is fairly cheap as it costs only $49 per year. I will leave the link in the description below. I have already installed Elementor, so everything is set up. Let's create a new page. I will name this page, Sneakers. Then I will edit the page with Elementor. Now I'm going to Settings, Page Layout, and I'm going to select Elementor Full Width. In this way, you will keep your header, if you have one, and your footer. So first thing, click on the plus button to add a one column section. Next, click again to add our posts. So I'm going back here and find the posts element. Here it is. So, we will drag and drop here. Wonderful. Now we have our posts, nice and clean. Now it's time to add some filtering because we have many categories. In order to do this, I am going to create a menu and add it to the page. Then, I will create an archive blog template as well. So, now I will explain to you how to do that. First of all, I am going to publish this page and I will go back to my dashboard to the appearance section. So let's go back and go to Appearance, and Menus. I'm going to create a new menu, which I will call Categories menu. Then, I will go to the Categories, over here. Just select all categories you want to use in the filtering system. So, I selected men's, women's kids, boys and girls. So these are the categories, and I added the selected to the menu. Nice, let's go back to our page again. Open the page and edit it with Elementor. Here we are, so now we are going to add our menu right on the top. So I'm going to click here and search for the menu NAV element. I'm going to drag and drop it on the page right here. As you can see now, we have our sneakers and the menu on top. I am going to publish the page and then check how it works so far. Okay. First I need to add the page to the main menu. So I go back to Appearance, and Menu. I select the main menu and I add the sneakers page to this menu. Let's click on Save to update the main menu of the website. Great, so I reloaded the page to view it. Now let's test the filters. For example, I click on Women's. It's going to the category Women's, and the filter works, as you can see. That's because I get only the two pairs under the Women's category. However, the page's layout is different. It is a vertical blog layout. So we need to change it. Here I'm going back and I clicked on Boys. The same thing is happening. It's going all vertical. So I will show you how to fix this right away. Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. First of all, we need to go to the Elementor theme builder. When you are in the theme builder, we need to add new template. Choose the template type to be archive and give it the name default blog posts archive. Click on create a template.
I will close this window, as I don't need any blocks. Great. So now, we have this empty page right here. I will add the menu and the posts as I did before. At this point, I am going to speed up the video, as I am going to follow the same steps as I did when building the sneakers page. So the pages look the same as you can see. Fine. So I will publish it, and I will select Add Condition. Select Include All Archives. Then Save and Close. Great. So I'm going back to my blog page to check if it now works. First, I reloaded the page. So right now, it looks like it works, but it's not actually filtering the content. Now I am going to show you how to filter the content. So we are on the archive page. Here and on the archive page, on the posts element, we will change the filtering system. If I click here, I can go to query and change the source to be equal to current query. I will update the template. Let's now go back to my sneakers page. I am going to reload the page. As you can see now, it's actually filtering everything as it should. So that's how it works, and how I built my filtering system using only Elementor Pro. Also, you can actually add to the menu an extra option, to get all posts, without any filtering. I will show you right now, how to do that. I'm going back to my dashboard. I'm going to Appearance, then, Menu. Here, I will add to the Categories menu, the blog page. I will leave it here, and I will change its name to, All. Great, let's save the menu. So now, if I go to my website and go to the Sneakers page, I will have the option of browsing all of the sneakers. I reloaded the page and, as you can see, everything works fine. So this is the way I do my blog filtering in a fast way just by using Elementor Pro. I hope that this tutorial was useful. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. My name is Nick and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this. Don't forget to subscribe and the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.